Okay, welcome everybody. I hope that everyone is fine. I'm very happy that you will pass the next 60 minutes with us with this very important and interesting topic, the German research landscape, research in Germany and how to do a postdoc uh, in Germany. My name is Salha Neja. I work for the DRD office in Tunis and I will accompany you now during the next 60 minutes uh, immediately. So, um, before we begin, I would like just to give you some information. So, so we give you some information about this topic, research in Germany, and um, our our um, our chat will be will rest open so that you can write all your questions you get in your mind during this presentation directly in our chat box. I will then try to read a maximum of questions we get loudly and to try to, re, uh, to answer them, of course, also. Um, you will also get, um, after my input, you will get the possibility to download some brochures we have prepared for you, as this one, I don't know if you can see it. So, Research in, uh, Career in Germany, a guide for international po postdocs, but also this brochure, the German research landscape. So. Um, please download them because we will later not be able to send them to you because they are big brochures and uh, could not be sent. Um, our uh, presentation of today uh, is now recorded uh, that in order that you can then have a closer look on it uh, on our YouTube channel, DAD Tunisie, or if you will not be able to, to follow the whole presentation, then you will get the, you will find the recording on our YouTube channel. Um, so these were my first words I wanted to send to give you and I will begin now with my first slide to give you further information first of all about the DRD, the organization I will present today. DRD is short for Deutscher Akademischer Austauschdienst, German Academic Exchange Service. We are an independent organization and our members are universities, research centers, but also some student bodies. You can see on this nice picture one of our buildings in the headquarters uh, in Bonn. Bonn is the former capital of Germany, but we also have a second branch office in the capital of Germany in Berlin and lots of other structures as foreign-based branch offices, information centers, information points in more than 60 countries. We are very proud to be one of the biggest scholarship organizations worldwide. And in 2020, we have awarded for about 145,000 scholarships to Germans, but also to foreigners. Germans to go abroad all over the world in order to study or research there and vice versa. Also, um, foreigners coming from all over the world going to Germany to study or research there. What we do and have in the Maghreb is a regional office, as already said. We, our office has been created in uh, 2012, directly after the revolution in Tunisia. It was an initiative made by the foreign office, by the German or foreign office. And meanwhile, we are a regional office, not only responsible for Tunisia, but also for Algeria, Libya and Morocco. And besides our office, there are also lectures and language assistants. They teach at a university in the Maghreb and on the same time, they uh, represent the DID and give further information about study and research in Germany and about the scholarship opportunities. Our activities are very diverse. So we offer uh, information about study and research in Germany, as we do, for example, today online, but also offline. Now, since a couple of weeks, we have started also our offline activities after the, pa the pandemic. And uh, we do also lots of networking events. We do marketing, we do, we offer um, or, uh, uh, events and, and opportunities for our former scholarship holders, which who are the, um, who are the, the our alumni. We, um, we offer trainings for academics and so on. So the activities are really very, very diverse and always in the academic field. This is important for us. 
Let's continue now with the second point, the German research landscape. I just want to give you here a very, very brief um, overview about, um, about the German research landscape. First of all, why Germany? We have put here five good reasons for doing research in Germany. Why is it uh, interesting and important to do research? The five good reasons are the following. So first of all, we have more than 400 universities um, in Germany, um, state universities and um, state recognized universities. They offer um, lots of opportunities to do research and you'll find uh, a very big number of, of these universities in the top places uh, regarding the international rankings. Germany is very strong regarding innovation. So we find lots of uh, innovative products, we find uh, patents um, and so on. You can do lots of interdisciplinary research um, at German universities and research centers and um, you find um, very, very good opportunities uh, to get funding opportunities for all disciplines. And last but not least, um, living in Germany is linked to a very high quality of life. Some facts and figures. So we have almost 1000 um, research institutions which are publicly funded or, or partly publicly funded. Um, the GDP of, um, uh, so we have 100 uh, billion euro um, invested in research in Germany, which is 3% of the GDP. Um, almost 700,000 persons working in the research and development sectors. And there are university cooperation um, with uh, almost 160 countries. So there are cooperation with almost all over the world. Pillars of the German research sector. So there are three possibilities for you to do research in Germany. It could be done at a university, at a non-university research institute, or you can do industrial research. There are four different types if you want. So institutions which are publicly funded, institutions which are private funded, publicly funded, for example, the Max Planck Society, um, the, uh, the Helmholtz uh, Association, universities and so on. And you can do basic research or applied research. So uh, it depends on the institution you will chosen. So you can see that universities are something between both. That's why we have them in the, in the middle. But of course, for example, um, the Fraunhofer uh, Gesellschaft, it's an, it's an institution which is very known um, for, its, um, for its very um, close link to the industry. We have, for example, Max Planck Society, which is an institution which is very well known regarding its basic research. So this is only to get to get, an, uh, to get an impression about uh, the situation we have in Germany. If you want to launch your postdoc career, you need to ask yourself, first of all, two different questions. Do you want to do academic research or industrial research? Academic research is, has always a combination between research and teaching. And you always have the obligation to do publications. If you will do industrial research, you will have neither the pressure to do teaching nor to publish. And your research um, findings should contribute always directly to the development of new products, development of new patterns. So this is a uh, very clear difference between both tracks. So if you will do your postdoc research, um, your, your postdoc in academic research, then there's a possibility to do it at a university or at a research center. Um, you will work in this case either in a department or in a research group. 
If you will work in a department, then you will hold seminars, you will uh, offer practical exercises, support graduates, and have also to do some administrative duties. And you will be normally part of, 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 of a uh, research uh, program that is already existing. If you will do your research in a research group or in a sponsored project, in this case, you need to, uh, to, to pursue your own research project and you will be only focused on research. Teaching, teaching duties are sometimes only uh, involved. It's, it's not automatically. If you will do postdoc, your postdoc uh, at the industry, then you can do it at a company or at a small or medium sized enterprise. Both are possible. Um, it's important that your fundings should normally uh, very quickly be applied in products. So you need results in the industry. There's a big pressure. And um, you can find um, the jobs at, at companies um, which are not so numerous if you compare it with uh, positions at university or research centers. So the jobs are almost for engineers or natural scientists and not for all, um, for all, um, um, for all uh, disciplines. You can find such jobs, so a postdoc at the industry, at um, the International Placement Service, of the Federal Employment Agency, and we have put you here the direct link. You can copy or um, take a photo of it. We are normally, as Megalovinian uh, researchers, um, not coming from the uh, European Union. Uh, um, European Union. So, if you will apply for a long-term uh, uh, stay in Germany, which is a stay which is longer than three months, then you need to apply for a scientific visa. In this case, you, uh, you need your residence permit. So it's very important that you have, when you apply for this kind of visa, first of all, an agreement with a recognized research institution, which could be normally um, the, the, the university or a research center. You also need to get your doctorate recognized and you can do it um, through this link. We have put you here from the KMK, the, um, the, the organization which is which which worked with um, in this field, which is um, which is uh, responsible for recogn recognition of uh, of diploma and also of PhD programs. So now let's be a little bit more concrete and have some information about funding programs. There are really lots of German organizations offering um, fundings in Germany. We have the three different categories, if you want. First of all, there's, there are funding opportunities offered by research funding institutions as the DRD, the organization I uh, represent today. There is also the DFG, the German um, research uh, um, community. And we have uh, also the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation, which is our sister organization, um, a funding institution, which is only responsible for the research level. Then there are also some funding opportunities coming from uh, research performing institutions like the Fraunhofer Gesellschaft, the, the, the Max Planck Gesellschaft, uh, Leibniz Association, Helmholtz, and so on. They are really very big names, which are also offering um, fundings at their institutions. And last but not least, there are also some different other foundations like private foundations, public foundations, political foundations. They all also offer um, funding opportunities for international researchers. We will now have a look on the funding opportunities coming from the DRD, and I've also prepared you some programs from our sister organization, the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation. As I've already said, the DRD is one of the biggest scholarship organizations worldwide. We offer scholarships in different for different levels, as you can see here, the schema 
but today we'll be only concentrated on the postdoc level. If you have questions regarding the PhD, the master or the bachelor level, then you can contact us in another way and I will um, give you later um, the, uh, the possibilities how you can contact us. The first program I would like to, um, to, to present or more the first two programs I would like to present is the program Research Stay stays for university academics and scientists and re-invitation program for former scholarship holders. They are both the same programs, just the, um, the target group is a little bit different. Research stays, the program research stays is open for all scientists in the Maghreb um, who have already finished their, um, their PhD. Um, uh, the re-invitation program is only open for our former scholarship holders who have already get a scholarship from the DRD for a duration of minimum six months. You can do here a research or benefit from a research stay at a German institution or a German higher education um, university research institute uh, in Germany um, for a short stay between one and three months. You should be a university teacher or a scientist um, affiliated to a Maghrebinian university or research center. You could can be from any field. We accept all fields without restriction, but it's important that you have already finished your doctoral degree. Um, unfortunately, for this year, the financial resources are not available. Um, due to budget cuts, but we hope that we can offer you this program from the next year on. But it's just to have it on mind that this possibility will hopefully be existing uh, from the next year on. The next program I would like to offer you is uh, a program which uh, is a co-financement between the DRD and the European Union. It's the program which we call Prime Postdoctoral Researchers International Mobility Experience. It's a mobility program because there is a possibility that postdoc researchers from all nationalities all over the world could have the, um, the uh, opportunity to get an employment at a German university and a research stay abroad. It means that you from your home country need to get an invitation letter from an host lab which should be from all over the world, but not from Germany and not from your home country for a stay of 12 months. And then you need to get an invitation letter from a German university or research center for a duration of six months. So we can um, uh, finance here a duration of 18 months and you will have the triangle between your home country, the, uh, the research lab abroad and the research lab at, uh, in Germany. Um, you should uh, have been finished your your PhD. This is um, this is the um, this is the condition with uh, excellent degrees, and uh, then you could apply for this program. Probably in the fine uh, in the end of uh, of August 2022. So there's still no. We still do not have the the new calls, but I think it will be published in the next week. So very very soon. Next program is also a co-financement between the DRD and the German Aerospace Center, the DLR Center. We have different DLR centers in Germany and you can do your research at these different centers. This program is not open for all disciplines, but it's, um, it's open for, for a very, very special group for all those who are working in space, aeronautics, energy and also transportation. Um, we offer here doctoral programs, but also postdoc, junior researcher and senior researcher uh, programs. There are different, um, different calls, uh, uh, which you can find on the website. You can see here drd.de slash dlr. We always have uh, current offers published on this website. Duration of the funding depends always on your on your level, on your research level. So for postdoc and junior researchers, we have here positions between six and 24 months. And for senior researchers, there are um, uh, fellowships for uh, duration between one and three months. 
Next program we have is also a very special program for a very, very special target group. It's uh, called Climate Africa, Climate Research for Alumni and Postdocs in Africa. So it means that you um, can do um, research um, if you have already uh, in, in the climate field, if you have already um, finished your PhD degree, um, have, an, um, have the nationality of uh, an African country and are willing to do your research in uh, Western or Southern Africa. In this case, you can uh, apply for, uh, for a stay in such a host a university or research center um, plus uh, a certain stay uh, between two and six months in Germany. So there are two two different stays which are which are here included, and the application deadline will probably be between October and November because here we also do not have the the new call. So these were the programs offered by the DID. Now let's have a closer look on the program which are offered from the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation. So you can find on our scholarship database, you can see here the link um, below, funding-guide.de. We have five different programs. There are programs especially for postdocs, programs especially for experienced and senior researchers. Um, and there's also a special climate program. So five different programs for different levels, but it's from the postdoc level. So the condition for every um, financement coming from the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation is that you have finished at least your PhD in your home country. Um, there is the possibility to apply then for a long-term research project um, uh, at, a, at a university or research center in Germany of your choice. This program is open for all disciplines without restrictions, but you need to have a PhD degree with very, very excellent grades and you need to uh, have completed this, uh, this PhD, of course. Um, the duration of this uh, program depends as always, always on, uh, on the level. So um, it's normally a duration between six and 24 months. And uh, very, very good news for all Alexander Humboldt Foundation programs is that there uh, you, you can you can send your application at any time. There is no um, deadline you need to respect, but you need to know that the selection committee in charge for these programs meets every year in March, July, and also in November. So in a, on a regular basis, there are the meetings and. Uh, so normally you will get your results always after three to four months, uh, depending on, uh, on, on the date of your application, of course. <clears throat> All the programs I've presented now, the programs offered by the DRD, but also the programs offered by um, the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation, are available on our scholarship database. On this scholarship database, you find, first of all, all the fun fundings coming from the DRD um, for students, graduates, doctoral candidates, and also for professors. Um, you can filter by your home country, you can filter by your, um, by your discipline, by your intention, and so on. And then uh, you will find the program which fits <coughs> which fits to your profile. Just have a closer look on it. After the programs from the DRD, you can also select funding opportunities coming from other German organizations, as I've already, already present at the beginning. Now, further information, our website, drd.tn, we put all the new calls we get on our website. You'll find them on, uh, on, uh, on, the, on the first page. Uh, under news, and uh, you can also follow us on Facebook, the Adi Tunisie. There, we also give you all the news, all the new uh, calls, all the new um, events, uh, and, and so on. On our main website, the Adi.de, this is for the whole world. You find general information about study and research in Germany. And of course, if you want to do research in Germany, then you need to know this link, researchingermany.org. It's a link made by the German, um, uh, the German Ministry of Higher Education and Research. Um, 
and you find really lots of very, very important and good information about the German research, research landscape, about the German research institutions, about uh, the, the funding opportunities and so on. So it's really a very important and good link for all those who are interested to do research in Germany. Here's some useful links. You can have a closer look on them. And I will let you hear now our save the date. So uh, before I, I will read your questions. So first of all, every Wednesday we have a um, consultation by a phone. So you can call us between 2 and 3.30 Tunisian time. And you find here the, telephone, the phone number and you also find, you can also call us via WhatsApp. It's possible if you're not from Tunisia. Our next online consultation will take place on June uh, 7th. Registration link will be soon available on our website. And we offer this year once again the following Walls Lab Tunisia. We have already selected 12 persons. And if you want to take part in this event, then you need to register yourself as well or just call us and uh, we'll send you further information. I have, ah, yes. And we have another uh, important thing is that we have uh, from since, since last week, we offer now once again, after a, a big um, pause, uh, we offer um, the face-to-face -face consulting, thank you, uh, which takes place always every Thursday uh, between 10 and 12, I think, 10 and 12. And if you want to get an appointment, there are, I think, for this week, still one or two appointments available. And if you want to, to get them, then you need to go via our website and um, fix an appointment uh, in order to benefit from a consulting. But if there will be no appointment left, then you can uh, come to us next week. Um, some of you have asked about our email address. You can find it here, info at did.tn. Uh, just send an email. Um, our websites are here. Uh, like us uh, uh, on Facebook, Daddy Tunisie. Follow us on our YouTube channel to get all uh, the registration we offer you. Uh, and um, that's all from my side. I'm very, very thankful for your interactions, for all your questions you have sent. I hope that um, that you have already um, downloaded the um, the documents we have prepared for you because we are unfortunately not able to. Uh, to send them to you, please download them now and, um, and and benefit from the information you get there because they are really very, very well done um, um, uh, lots of, with lots of important information for all those who are interested to, to, to do their research or parts of the research in Germany. Thank you once again for all the input you have given to me. Thank you for your attention and your time. I wish you now a nice uh, afternoon. Bye-bye.